Windows 10 has a couple of different ways that you can back up your computer. The first way is the one that was introduced in Windows 7, and that is still available in Windows 10 in Control Panel by clicking Backup and Restore Windows 7. And here's where the option to set up a backup is. So we can click on Set Up a Backup. Using this way is the only way to do a complete backup of your Windows 10 computer. For some reason, Microsoft has gone with a new option, which will soon be the default, that allows you to back up just your files and folders that you've saved. We see that it wants to use the E drive, which is a new drive I just attached uh, to this particular computer. I'm going to say, go ahead, sure, use that. Then we have the option for what you want to back up. I'm going to choose Let Me Choose just so we can see all the different options. And here's a backup of data for newly created users, administrator libraries, etc., etc. But if you want the entire hard drive, you got to click C. If we hit the drop down, we'll make sure everything is checked, which it is. We also want to include a system image of drives as well. Now, if I save this and run it, it will do a full backup of my computer. And I can restore not just files, but I can restore the entire computer. The only downside to this is if I want to enable something called shadow copy. So I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to go back to File Explorer and go to this PC and the C drive. Right click and go to Properties. And we used to be able to enable previous versions, which is also known as shadow copies. So we could go back in time to look at any files that may have been corrupted or encrypted by malware, that kind of thing, and restore them. And over the years, I've done this many times with many versions of Windows clients. But it's no longer possible to do it that way if we use the Windows 7 type of backup. So what we have to use now is the file history type of backup. So in order to see this, we'll go into search and we'll type in file history. And we see it brings up backup settings. We can also get there by going to the system icon and then choosing the update and security option. And then it'll take us right there as well. So we've got the backup using file history. If we click add a drive, we can now add our E drive once again. And it's going to add some files to that drive. So if I click on the drive and open it up, I see it added some files to file history. And we've got X is who we're logged into now. And that's because X is the local administrator to the computer. If you try to use the administrator for the domain, you won't be able to run this backup. And we see client two, configuration, data, et cetera, et cetera. So nothing's been done yet. These are just files that it adds in automatically. Now, if we click on more options, we can choose to back up now. But before I do that, we can take a look at see the uh, backup these folders. So these are all the folders that's going to back up by default. And if I want to exclude certain folders, I can do that by excluding them from my main folder. So for instance, if there's a folder on my desktop I did not want to back up, I could exclude that, but it still would back up every other folder on my desktop. Once I've decided all the folders that I want, and you can add the Windows folder, but it's still not going to do a system backup this way. It just isn't going to work. I'll click Backup Now. Now, if you get an error at this point, it's probably because you're not logged in as a local administrator. So make sure you log off and go in as a local administrator, not a domain administrator. And it's starting to back up the data. Once the data is backed up, we can choose to restore some of that data as well. And it'll also allow us to enable our shadow copies, which we'll be doing in an upcoming video. Everything was backed up very quickly because we really don't have much on this particular computer. So we'll click on Restore Files from a Current Backup. And here are all those folders that we saw earlier. And if there's any files inside them, we can choose to restore them. Let's choose to restore the pictures folder. And we can double click on any one of these. And then click on restore. And now it's done. So that's how easy it is to restore any of the files that we need from our backup of this new type of backup and restore program that's been out since Windows 8. However, if you really want to protect the entire computer, then you want to use the Windows 7 option.